Excuse me, you can't do that. Dosh! Okay guys, welcome to what is going to be another series I'm going to do. Probably going to be split up into probably three parts. So this is going to be about me preparing for my first triathlon, which is in exactly four weeks from today. I have 28 days to get ready for it. And I'm just going to share my training program and everything else that I think is appropriate. If you guys are just watching this for the first time and haven't watched any of my other videos, maybe you're just interested in triathlons or something, then I hope you can take something out of this. Maybe I can motivate you, I don't know. But it's going to be a fun and probably quite painful experience for me, <laughs> to be honest. Just for a quick background, I've like done a few running events in the past. My weakest event is swimming, so that's going to be a major focus for me over the next four weeks. I've come up with um, a little bit of a schedule that I want to follow for the next few weeks and I will quickly show you that now. What I've devised here is I'm just using my calendar app to try and draw up a uh, training program of sorts which is probably not even really all that good as far as what I need to be doing. I'm not entirely sure but this is what I've done so far. So this is today. I was going to practice the triathlon this morning. It's almost 8 o'clock and I'm just going to ride to the gym to have my first practice at a try. But then when I got to the gym at 8 o'clock to do it... Well, I just got to the gym, but they don't open till quarter to nine, which is horseshit. That's 45 minutes. Uh, they weren't open, which is kind of ridiculous. I'm going to have to change these events. Uh, I'm going to have to maybe see if I can go to a different pool to do them or possibly just do it later in the day. But I kind of want to do it early because the triathlon that I'm going to be doing will be at 7 a.m. 6.30 registration. Yeah, so my weakest event is swimming. So I'm going to try and do three sessions of swimming per week. Uh, next week, uh, this coming week, I'm going to try a cycling run brick session because I haven't really trained that yet. I did one in a duathlon a couple months ago and it really made the run a lot more difficult than I had expected. So I want to train those two together to strengthen my legs and I can get these other muscles working so I'm not so tired when I come to the run. Next week I'll probably work it all out and see what distances I'm doing and then just put them in. Um, or I might be able to work out that later. Because I haven't trained today and I wanted to do a practice try um, and it's too late to go to the pool now because it's 20 to 5 and the pool is now closed on a Sunday, it's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to now go for a cycle run just to see how that goes. In the next few days, I'm going to add some more detail to that training program because it's not very um, complete. I am also very amateurish. So if you're already a triathlete, this is probably pretty pointless to watch. This is more for my own sort of benefit. And if you are maybe thinking about trying it, this is kind of the things you need to think about. Not entirely, entirely sure what distance I'm going to try and aim for today, probably just a 10k bike and 5k run. Uh, there's a loop that I like to hit uh, that stretches around the river and I might just try and do that today. Uh, see how I go. Like I said I hadn't done I haven't done cycle run bricks before so this is going to be new territory. That was Probably the best workout I've done ever, apart from my 52 minute 10k run. I just did the brick and I did on my watch, I kind of fucked it up because um, when I did, I put it in Jewoth. Jew I'm gonna have a drink.
Okay, okay. It was um, a 15 kilometer bike ride, then a 5.4 kilometer run. And I didn't film any of it. I normally do like little snippets in my vlog of me running or bike riding or whatever. Um, but this time I just wanted to focus and I've only, I only took my phone and I didn't want to risk dropping it because it's, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> so my overall time was an hour and 16 minutes. A total of 12.8 miles. My watch keeps reverting to miles even when I put it in. The metric system, it just keeps reverting back to the imperial system for some reason.